Marsha Riley. Who oh, she's beautiful. Is, yes, <laughs> very beautiful, Marsha Riley, who is a very, very serious parenting advocate. And Marsha is all about the children, and as I always say, loving of the children, teaching the children, motivating the children. She's also the author of If I Can, You Can Too which is a storybook for children, motivating them and inspiring them to be all that they can be. And the beautiful thing about this book, although it's written for children, it's also a guide for parents who have children with a lot of potential, how to go about um, bringing their, um, their potential and aspirations to life. Now, next week, Thursday and Saturday, Marsha is going to be hosting a very, very special and informative seminar. And this morning, she's here to share that with us. Thank you for having me. So this seminar was actually birthed before the book. Because okay. what I wanted, in, you know, the book is about different heroes. So we talk about Kishon's story, mm -hmm. Mailing's story, you know, how they went from all the different challenges, how they overcame it, mm -hmm. their input, the input that their parents had, etc. So initially on the path to the book mm -hmm. was the seminar after I'd interviewed all the different people. I wanted to share those stories through the seminar because I felt as if you know it's one thing to motivate children but it's a whole other thing now to equip the parents yes I think the most frustrating thing is to have a child at home who wants to go forward but the parent just doesn't know wow. how mm -hmm. you know so the child a lot of times we feel you hear as an adult I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that but my yeah. parents held me back my yes. parents didn't equip me my, and it's not that the parent didn't want to but they a lot of times know how to. they don't know they can't even recognize sometimes we look at things and we think it's just a hobby yes. or she's just a child and you know they'll go through that phase yes mm -hmm. so their, their interest changes every day and a lot of times we're, we're really well intentioned but we are not aware and we're just not equipped yes so the seminar came as the the parenting arm to the book so you know you've motivated the child but here here come now and let's get mm -hmm. equipped to find out about the child. You know, Masha, I do have a lot of friends who, especially male friends of mine, who watch the way in which I push and I motivate and go the extra distance for my son with regards to his football career. And you know, I would often hear them saying, if my parents would have done what you are doing or going the extra mile that you are going, then I could have been be, you yes. know, successful at but playing not football. But every parent, that. you see, you have a lot of vision. Not every parent sees. And even now, you would think, I mean, in Dwight Chalk's day, I could understand why the parents might necessarily be a little bit reserved mm -hmm. and hesitant to say, okay, this is a career. Mm -hmm. But now we're seeing that, you know, sports, yeah. music, it's a, it's a viable career, you know. Yeah. What, I, I did a tour at Central FC. Mm -hmm. And what these boys are earning... You know, it's not great, you know, if you were a CEO of a company, no, you're not going to earn as much as, as that right. playing local football. But those same boys, mm -hmm. if they were to go and try to get a job anywhere else, they would not earn what they're earning okay, no. at Central FC. Okay. And they're doing that with their passion. They're not getting in trouble. It's taking them out of the system. Mm -hmm. Do, you know, and we need to start to embrace non-traditional careers. Mm -hmm. And we need to find a way to, to determine whether this is just a hobby, mm -hmm. this is a passion, this is, some, this is a God-given talent. You and know? you know, I just want to say that some parents need to, it's a challenge when they have to find that balance between maintaining their personal life and careers and their child's life and careers. Because sometimes it clashes. And as a parent, you have to make sacrifices, probably sacrifice your own self and different things that you may have to do for the children. But um, I think the seminar would be you informative know, the thing and about parents it find is, a balance. The thing about it is, if it is, right, let's say, so in the seminar, what we do is we, go, we do a little test mm -hmm. so that you can understand the way that you learn. You can understand the way that if it is that you have a partner, husband or whatnot, the way they learn. And then understand the way that the child learns. Because we also need to educate them. Yes. And there, our system, unfortunately, does not deal with, let's say, the guy who's interested in football. So he goes through school very frustrated. Yes. And we know that there's a link between illiteracy and misbehavior. Yes. So the seminar helps you understand, how can I teach that little boy that's interested in nothing but football? So at least when they come home, mm -hmm. you have the tools to help him through his homework. Yeah. I see the theme for your seminar, unleash your child's potential whether or not they are academically inclined. And um, I think this is very 
potent or relevant to what we're dealing with right now because as you just indicated we do have a lot of children who may not necessarily be academically inclined but they may be so talented otherwise yes. and uh, you know some parents need to be able to need to be taught how to identify okay it's not about Pythagoras theorem but it's about that stage but funny enough right in the seminar because I'm not I'm not an advocate for while I'm, I'm all into sports and all into non-traditional careers, but at the same time, I don't believe in having an literate athlete. Of so we not. have to be able to teach them. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of the seminar. So the seminar is divided into two. One is, yes, let's harness their natural passion and their natural strength. But on the flip side, let's help them get through school. Yes. So I give the example all the time of spelling cat. Mm -hmm. You know, a child that's not verbally inclined, that's not word smart, you say C-A-T cat, you know, you've ever gotten that spelling list to go home yes. with, and all you do for like, you, you, let's write cat 15 times, and let's spell cat 15 times, and f after 15 times, I still won't get it. Yeah. So that's not the way that I'm inclined to. But someone like Marshall Montano or Bungie, who may be musically inclined, you mm -hmm. sing cat, yeah. and all of a sudden they get it. Yes. Or someone who is bodily inclined, you put cat, you know, C-A-T on like a little hopscotch something outside, mm -hmm. and you make them go C-A-T, and just the idea of jumping when they're saying, when mm -hmm. they're spelling it, mm -hmm. makes a big difference for them. So we show the, the tiny differences. You know, sometimes you wonder, well, why do you need to stand and do your homework? Um, because that person is bodily inclined and so sitting, you know, their brain cannot function as well. They need to stand up. They need to take some breaks and whatnot. Yeah. I'm sure your parents would have said, you turn the music off, you can't concentrate yes. with the music but on. Some people need the mu some to hear the music. Some people genuinely need the and music then they on. Do their yes, so All we right. do different tests mm -hmm. to show who are the ones that genuinely need the music, who are the ones that genuinely need to get up and move about. Yes. Alright, so tell us where the conference is going to be held and some more information costing and so such. So it's $150 per person. It's of course adults. That's for the two days? It's for one day. For the one day. The conference is one day. You have, you have three options. You have mm -hmm. Thursday morning for those that you know, are home, like at home mm -hmm. or whatnot. You have the Thursday morning, you have a Thursday afternoon after work, and then you have Saturday morning. Right. It's a two-hour session. It includes your workbook and, uh, and refreshment. Mm -hmm. And it is um, $150 a person. It's in Maraval, just behind RBC. Yeah, I see it's... Um, Rookery Nook. Rookery Nook. Yeah, so that's just behind RBC's car park mm -hmm. at Irie Element. All right, and contact information... So you can find me on Facebook. I'm all over Facebook. But it, my number is 684-1200. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can email me directly at marshareilly at gmail.com. No, I see you have here babysitting is available. Yes, because well, I'm a single mother. Right. You know, my child is, is Yeah, her baby, her baby is on the, on the sofa outside there yes. and in the waiting room with her blankets and her special <laughs> pillow. I know about that pillow. Yes. My 11-year-old still is attached to his pillow. So I, <laughs> I know about, you know, the, the, the stresses of, of having your child with you no matter what. So we do have babysitting available mm -hmm. for that parents who, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. after work, we don't have somewhere to drop them off. We have to bring yeah. them with us. So we have babysitting available. Okay. Okay. So learn how to identify your child's natural strengths using Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence theory. Um, get equipped to help differently academic children succeed in school. Learn how to identify your child's true passion. And that's something I'll repeat because that's something a lot of parents need to really need to take that time. Or do you really know your child? Learn how to identify your child's true passion and discover the childhood habits of local men and women who would have excelled in their fields right in North Trinidad and Tobago. Now, this is all part of Marsha's seminar. It's going to be held next week, Thursday yep. and Saturday. And of course, she's going all the way out to make provisions. So for those of you single parents, um, or even parents who may be working and you want to come out and be a part of the seminar, she has a babysitting available at um, additional cost, but small fee. All right, so you can be part of this seminar. Um, really quickly, you want to tell us, give us a little insight about Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence theory? Yes, sure. So Howard Gardner is a professor of education at Harvard University. And 30 years ago, what he suggested was we can no longer test the IQ. So you know, like in schools, we have A class and B class. Mm -hmm. What he's suggesting is we need to have a music class and a bo body class or, you know, math class and word class because there are eight different intelligences. So children are naturally, their brain functions differently, you know, we're just naturally drawn towards different things. Photographers, they're, you know, you put some pictures on the board and 
the, the classroom is going to light up for them. Mm -hmm. You know, there are those that are very good at math, you know, logic, building Lego and stuff like that. Drawing. I know there are some yes. people that are really, really good at drawing. So we go through the eight different intelligences and then we show you how can you identify, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you have the child who's just into animals or you have the child that's just into Lego. You have the child that's into to Barbie and fashion, you know, Meiling was, was sewing yes. her Barbie clothes from a very young age. Yes. So we show you different ways of just looking at the way that they play. Because you can identify what their passions are, what their natural by the talents way they play. are, just by the way they play. Okay. That, I think that, I'll pay attention to that. <laughs> all right, so it's all happening next week, Thursday, 2nd of June from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, or 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And Saturday as well, 4th of June um, from 12 p.m. 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And the cost of this workshop is only $150 and it's happening at Irie Elephant 8A Rookery Nook Marval, which is behind RBC, RBC. which is behind RBC. And uh, um, a lot of information you're going to hear, you're going to learn and hear about and practical exercises. Yes, it's yes. an interactive workshop. Practical so you bring exercises. your issues, you know, you can say, look, I have a particular challenge and we will go through that challenge at the workshop. All right, Marsha, thank you so much you for much um, coming and showing and giving us this information and putting this seminar together. I think it's really going to be helpful to a lot of parents who well, really you know, my, need to my learn thing, their child. I think if we get parenting mm -hmm. under control, all the other societal ills will just, you know, disappear. <laughs> well said. Your viewing Breaking Dawn and Synergy TV, Real TV. We're going to be right back after this with the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival and Stefan Reese.